Barcelona 1, Real Madrid 2 in the Clasico. El Clasico. David Alaba in the 32nd minute. Lucas Vasquez in the 94th. And Sergio Aguero. I think that's his first Barcelona goal in the 97th minute. I did not watch the highlights for this one. But if the El Clasico loss didn't get Kuman sacked, well, the loss to Raya Vallecano did. Because you, you, how, how are you going to... Listen, you and we, we we might sit here and talk about Kuman and talk shit about Kuman. I know he didn't get the best results, right? He deserved to get sacked, right? I know. I made a run on Kuman deserved to get sacked video already, right? He deserved to get sacked. Let's talk about the sacking. Let's talk about the sacking. Before we get even further, you know what? Let, let's go a little further. Let's go a little further to the Raya Vallecano game. Betis 3, Vallecano 2. Athletic Madrid, um, Sociedad 2, Hetafe nil, Celta Vigo 3, right? It brings us to the games now, match week 11. Alaves 1, Elche nil, Espanol 1, Athletic Club 1. Cadiz and Villarreal play to a, a thrilling 3-3 draw, right? Betis 4, Valencia 1, Mallorca 1, Sevilla 1. Real Madrid nil, also Osasuna nil. I tuned into this game, but wow, that's not a great result for Real Madrid, but a great one for Osasuna. Let's talk about this game. Real Vallecano 1, Barcelona nil. okay? Ronald Koeman officially sacked by Laporta, Barcelona board. They, they sacked him, right? But let's just take a look at the 11 that the man Kuman put out, right? We all have to remember this. Kuman, he got the job and he expected Lionel Messi to be at the club. This is what he expected. He expected a Messi in his team. Barcelona at whole failed to hold on to Lionel Messi. Radamel Falcao, oh man, how ironic, right? Falcao with the goal here in the 38th minute. Legendary Falcao, right? But look at this team. Depay, Aguero, Sergino that's playing in an attacking position. Maybe that's, maybe not the right thing. Gonzalez, don't know this guy like that. He's probably a youngster, don't know him like that. Busquets, Philip Coutinho, 100 million euro signing. Jody Alba, Eric Garcia, disaster waiting for to happen. Gerard Piquet, Sergio Roberto, Mark Andre Ter Stegen. This is a experienced team, right? Even Eric Garcia has experience at Man City and moved to Barcelona and has been featuring a lot, right? Let me see who's on the bench. Let me see who's on the bench and see if Kuman could have made diff better decisions. Clement Longley, Umti. Why Umtiti is not playing ahead of guys like, like Eric Garcia? I don't know. Um, I don't know why Umtiti don't just leave Barcelona. You see what I mean? Just sever the contract, become a free agent, and move on, bro. You see what I'm saying? Go back to Leon or wherever you were playing before. Some other team would need you, bro. You're there like a clown at Barcelona, not getting any game time, bro. I'm pretty sure he could have done a better job than Eric Garcia. So it's decisions like this that got Kuman sacked because even without Messi, when you look around, he still made decisions, bringing in guys like Luke De Young. You see what I'm saying? Memphis as well. Those are his signings. And they, they have not worked out. Maybe even a Clement Longley could have done better than a Eric Garcia. Why is he persistent with Garcia? Though? Why? I don't get it. Guys like Ricky Push not getting involved enough. You see what I mean? But... He expected to have Messi, and without Messi in this Barcelona setup, it's a total different team where they have to rebuild. It's going to take some time, 
And obviously, Ronald Koeman is not the man for the job. Imagine, imagine, right, wanting to manage Barcelona. Played at Barcelona, played in the team that helped Barcelona win their first ever Champions League title. Pep was in that team as well, right? Back in the 90s. He's a legendary Barcelona player. And rightfully, he would want to actually manage the team. Following the likes of Van Gaal and Johan Cruyff, of course, right? Great Barcelona managers. But you don't have Messi. The plans got messed up. Results have not gone his way. And the only thing left to do is to sack him. I think he had a lot of leeway. And what we're going to do, let's take a look at Barcelona's recent results. He had leeway. Let's go back to the beginning of the season. And one result I want to go back to is when there was a big hope, the shock. The big shock of the season, right? The big, big shock when he lost to Bayern in the Champions League, right? Bam. Brushed aside. Brushed aside, right? Then you play Benfica in the Champions League. Brushed aside as well. But the other results have not helped. The results have not helped. 1-1 one, one against Athletic Club. 1-1 one, one against Granada. The teams... You, Nil nil against Cadiz. You gotta beat these teams, Granada and Cadiz. Athletic Club, yeah, they give you a run for your money, but you gotta beat Granada and Cadiz. Game ain't being played on paper, but this is Barcelona though. See what I mean? You lost to Atleti, 3 0. You lost to Real Madrid and lost to Raya Vallecano. These results are unacceptable, Ronald. The unacceptable, bro. You look like a clown, Ronald. You see what I'm saying? You look that the, the Ronald Ronald McDonald. That's what you look like. Because you made some decisions that uh, you're like Luke. Where you going with Luke the Young though? Whoever manager comes in is gonna get rid of him. It's gonna get rid of him, definitely. So the talk of the town in terms of who's gonna come in, um, you check Twitter, check Fabrizio Romano. He actually talked about the Ronald Koeman sacking. And we're going to head on over to Twitter right now and see what Fabrizio had to say about the whole situation, right? So the latest is that um, let's go back to where he initially said it, right? So let's let's get let's deal with these things right now. So let's go. Let's go back. All right. So I think we're there. All right. So four hours ago, game over for Ronald Koeman at Barcelona. Emergency meeting with Laporta and board after Rio game. Statement expected soon as per sport. Right? That's the outlet. See Ronald Koeman there. Official. Ronald Koeman has been sacked. Barcelona are ready, already looking for a new manager. FC Barca, Ronald Koeman. Ronald McDonald Koeman. Joan Laporta decided after Wednesday night defeat versus Raya Vallecano. Couldn't take it anymore, man. Couldn't take it anymore. Koeman, bro, I got to say, bro. It was not the right decision, man. You see what I mean? It, sometimes you want something so bad, but it doesn't happen in the opportune time because what he had going on with the Dutch national team, he was actually doing very well. He had helped rebuild the Dutch national team after the 2018 World Cup qualifiers debacle. And he, he had the Dutch team looking really good again. And then he deserted the team for Barcelona. That's what you get. That is exactly what you get. For deserting the project. Following your freaking... Following dreams, man. That has become a nightmare. Nobody's going to forget what you did. They're not going to forget. Not going to remember anything either. 
but they won't forget that you flopped. <laughs> oh my God, man. Look, FC Barcelona official statement. FC Barca has relieved Koeman of his duties as first team coach. The president of the club, Laporta, informed him of the decision after the defeat against Raya Vallecano. Ronald Koeman will say goodbye to the squad on Thursday at Suita Esportiva. That's the training ground, pretty sure. So, what else does Fabrizio has to say here? Fabrizio. All right. Three hours ago, Xavi is still considered the favorite to take over Barcelona job. He'd love to come back, as announced recently. Barca board already made contacts with Xavi weeks ago. Still waiting to proceed on talks. Belgium coach Roberto Martinez was in the list too. And he'll be a dummy if he leaves the job. An easy job at Belgium where he's not winning anything either. But still, you got a nice little team there playing good football. To go to Barcelona... To flop too. I think the only person right now, in my honest opinion, could save Barcelona is this guy right here. This guy right here. I think this guy right here is Barcelona's savior. And the reason why I think that is because he's going to be able to work with some of the youngsters in the team. A Pedri, Ansu Fati, a Gavi, a Mingueza, a Royo. You see what I'm saying? And co and co and co and co, right? I don't think he's going to bring over some of the Qatari players, right? From the club he's coaching over there. I think he's at al Sadd, right? I don't think he's going to bring over a few guys from over there and help him at Barcelona. Nah, that's going to happen. Not going to happen, right? But I think Xavi, with the Barcelona DNA and everything, part of the great Barcelona team, yeah... It's crazy when you look at it right now that he's a manager. You remember when he he was a player and he was so prominent, right? And that's why I always tell you guys, look at some of these players right now. 10, 15 years from now or even less, they're going to be managing teams. And we are going to be talking about these guys who we used to talk about back in the day. See what I mean? Talk about a flashback, right? But anyways... There's no announcement in place yet for Koeman's replacement at Barcelona. It's going to take a few hours while negotiations are ongoing for Xavi to leave al Sadd and become the new manager. Other candidates for Barca job also know Xavi is favorite as things stand. Could he save Barcelona? I think he could, but they'll need to give him some time. They'll actually have to just get the expectations down a bit. And maybe not expect to win the league and the Champions League and the Cups and things. And just say, hey, Xavi, come in, rebuild the team. Let's. This is what we have to work with. The club don't have the money right about now. And just do your thing. You see what I mean? That's realistic. That is realistic. And that's what I think Xavi will be able to do with the team. Just take his time. And in two, three seasons, yeah. But we know club football, man. No patience. You ain't got no time. You don't perform. You don't get results. You're out. You see what I mean? Because if Xavi goes, let's say, the next 20 games and he only wins three matches, he's out too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the game. That is the game. He's out. He's definitely out. You know who might be next? This dude. This dude. But we're not going to get into that. We won't be getting into that right about now. Not at all, not at all.